Hey guys, um, excuse the no makeup. I'm probably gonna do my makeup in a little while. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a tip on how to make your hair very voluminous and crazy. Um, I think I've already done it in a video, but I wanted to show you the difference that it makes on your hair. So this is my hair. I haven't really like picked up the volume this morning but yeah okay so I put my head over and I put my fingers at the scalp and I kind of like shuffle it around you don't need any product mine already has a little bit of product so it'll help the curls so I just kind of shuffle it at the roots and I also put my fingers through the inside of the okay. curls. Okay, baby, hang on. And I shake them. Also in the back. So I just keep doing that until I feel like if it has enough volume. I really love big voluminous hair. It's just my favorite. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of scrunch the ends, just like the very ends. I'm not going to scrunch um, the top part or anything because then it'll get too, I don't know. <laughs> it's too much manipulation and sometimes it causes frizz. So I'm slowly going to bring my hair up and see how it made it get a lot of volume. And I'll show you in the front. <laughs> it's a big difference. So if you guys, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but if you guys want a lot of volume, that's a super simple tip. I use it all the time. Yeah, I use it on, well, I don't use it on your hair, but she has curly hair too. Look at the baby. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> she has really curly hair too. Hmm. Say hi. No. Hi. Mm -hmm. Go drink some water, okay? Mm. Okay. Go drink some water. Okay, so. And you can also shake it more. Kind of fluff it up a little bit more at the roots. Some people maybe don't like this look because it's too crazy. But I personally love crazy hair. I wanted to show you. And you can always add product or water as you want. But this is um, second day hair. I can get to like fifth day hair if I want to. Oh yeah, and last night I um, had a pineapple. My hair was like in a really high ponytail and a scrunchie. So... So you can tell it has a lot of volume and I like to put half of it to the front and half of it to the back. You can keep playing with it until you're satisfied. And yeah, go back over here. Okay. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this quick little tip. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. I also sometimes like to separate, see like this ringlet, I like it, but I also like to separate it from more hair. And then also if your hair, like if you, your hair has a habit of, if a hair had a habit, right? But <laughs> if your hair sticks together a lot, I have a, a tip also that I learned from Alexandra's Girly Talk. So wet or dry, you kind of just get your hair and you slap it with your hand. I know it's weird, but I feel like my hair is naughty. And sometimes it is. So it makes sense. So I slap my hair and that kind of like, like Alexandra's girly talk said, it rem like, it separates your curls without having to run your fingers through them and cause too much frizz and make yourself look like you got electrocuted because you know, curly hair does not like a hairbrush. <laughs> for the most part. So yeah. Okay. Well, once again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these tips. Let me know if you have any tips yourself. Maybe some curly hair hacks or just 
curly hair tips that you enjoy. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!